Hi, my name is Mary Black, and I want to share with you my story, why I do what I do. I want to start with a question for you. Are you really living life, or are you just paying bills until you die? I know that seems like a harsh question, but think about that. Think about that as you go to bed at night. Is that what you're doing? Is just paying bills, going to work so you can pay bills? Just over three short years ago, I was approaching my 45th birthday and was feeling frumpy, frustrated, and unfulfilled in my career. And actually, to be more truthful, I was miserable in my career and my body. Mark and I had just retired from 22 years of being competitive sled dog racers, and as they say, the universe presents things to you when you need them the most. Enter Isogenics. At first, my hairstylist had introduced me to the products, and I almost didn't try them because I previously had had a bad experience with a network marketing company, and I didn't want to get involved in another one at all. She had been telling me there's this great business and yada, 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 and I was like, I don't want anything to do with that at all. And then I had a family member tell me just to keep an open mind, and boy, I'm glad I did. I did my research, and I liked what I saw in the product. And I finally told this person, just, I don't want to hear any more about the business, just order me the product. And even though I was still very skeptical when I placed my order, I was so glad I did because within four days, my life was physically changed. For 15 years, I had been struggling with low energy since my early 30s when I had my thyroid removed. Every day, I would need an hour nap, sometimes twice during the day, to get through the rest of the day. Can anybody relate to that? I would work all day long, struggle to get through work, head bobbing sometimes on my way home, get home, take a nap from 5 to 6, just so I could get from 6 to 9 o'clock, or heaven forbid, make it to 10 o'clock or later, and get up and do it all over again. For the first time in nearly 15 years, I had energy to get through the day and have more left in my tank when I got home from work. I was getting up when my alarm clock went off instead of hitting my snooze button five times to just have five more minutes. It would drive Mark crazy. He didn't understand how tired I was all the time. And he was just amazed when I came home and was like, all right, let's go do something. He's like, don't you need to take an hour nap? So it just felt good to feel so good for the first time in a long time. What then happened was within a couple of weeks, people were asking what I was doing because they could physically see the difference in me. I had released 10 pounds, my skin and eyes were brighter, my attitude was upbeat, and I felt awesome. A couple months later, I attended a company training to learn more about the products as I thought I had to learn everything I could to tell everyone about them. What happened at that training changed my life forever. As I sat in the audience that day in June of 2011, I began to get emotional and had tears running down my cheeks when the trainer asked us to write down our dreams. Dreams? What were those? For close to 10 years, I had felt trapped in a job that was slowly killing my soul, had me unable to sleep most nights, and living for Fridays at 4 o'clock. By Sunday, my stomach was in knots again, dreading spending 40 hours of the next five days of my life doing a job that I hated. I spent most of my weekend in tears, or that weekend in tears, inspired by stories of others, learning that freedom was not working for a job for 40 hours a week, for 40, out, for 40 years, to retire with 40% of your pay in a pension, if that pension was going to be there at all. I was learning how parents were both working from home, fitting work in the pockets of their family life, not having to miss out on any of their kids' activities because of a project or a deadline at work, or for many, they were traveling away from home during the week. For the first time in my life, I caught a glimpse of what true freedom meant. True freedom meant being able to fit work in the pockets of your life instead of trying to fit your life around work. You could do what you loved, loved what you do, and it never felt like work. 
I went from having the fire in my soul nearly snuffed out to having a burning desire to help save others who are settling for an unfulfilled life and helping them start dreaming again, just like me, awakening the passion they had for life like when they were a child and helping them move toward a life of freedom. A year and a half later, I left my quote safe job as a well-paid with a nice benefit package county department head to live a life of passion. I cannot explain to you that feeling as I walked out the door of the courthouse that day. It was as if a two-ton weight was lifted off my shoulders. I had my whole life before me instead of dreading everything that I was doing. And I have a question for you again. Do you sit at your desk pushing paper, filling out reports, helping your boss look good so she can live the life of her dreams and know there is something more to life? A life of helping others, success, and freedom. If so, let's talk. What I do is not for everyone, and that's okay. But if you desire to do more than just pay bills until you die, I urge you to keep an open mind. I sure am glad I did. My motto in life today is, I believe everyone deserves to design their life, to dream outrageously, and to live the life of their dreams. I am Mary Black, and I believe in you.